Hi guys, my name is Freddy Korpshoek and in this video I will show you how to create an email account using SiteGround as a web hosting company and how to configure it on your computer. In order to go to SiteGround, go to webhosting125.com or go directly to SiteGround. I click over here and I will log in. I sign in. I go to my account. I go to the cPanel. I proceed. And then I can scroll down to mail over here and here you see email accounts. I click on it and here I can create a new email address. I want to create info at traversampson.com. I will create a password. I will confirm my password and here I can select my quota. If you have to start up, you can have a maximum of two gigabyte. And if you have grow big, you can have four gigabytes for your email account. I think a thousand megabyte is enough. So I say create account. And now it's created info at traversampson.com. And what I can do now, I can do two things. I can go to the webmail in the new tab. I can choose a webmail application. I like to choose Roundcube, it's really clean. You see, I have one gigabyte info at traversampson.com. And here I have my webmail. If I compose a new email and I send it to info at traversampson.com, I say test from webmail and I copy this and I place it, I can send it. And here it is in my inbox. And if I go to my outgoing mailbox, it's over here. Now I want to configure this for my Mac mail. So I go to Mac mail and I go to mail at account. And it needs to be an other mail account. At Microsoft Outlook, it will probably work the same. Continue. The name is Trevor Samson. The email address is info at Trevor Samson. The password is the password I just created sign in and now I need some additional information. So I go back to the cPanel and I click over here at more and I go to configure email client. I want to create an IMAP account. That means that all the emails will stay on the server and Mac mail or Microsoft Outlook or your phone will receive everything that's on the server. So my incoming server is traversampson.com and my outgoing server is also traversampson.com. So I go to my Mac mail again and I say incoming is this one and the outgoing also. I copy the email address and I use it for a username for now and I sign in. And probably you will see the incoming email I just sent through webmail. So here's my new account. And here it is, my incoming email I just sent from webmail. And if I go to my outgoing, you also see it. So if I would go to my inbox, I open it and I reply and I say this is a reply from Mac mail and I send it, it will also arrive over here. But if I go to my Mac mail account and I refresh it, it will be there also. And this is also getting the emails from the server. So if I get this email and I mark it as flagged, you see it will be red over here and also here it will be red. So that's how it works. You get all the emails from your server and if you use it on your phone, or on Mac mail or Microsoft Outlook or webmail, it will all be synchronized with each other, which is really nice. There's one more thing I can do. Over here you see Ferdy in NF Photography and here Ferdy Korpshoek. Here you see Trevor Sampson and I want to change this title for myself. So I go to Mail, Accounts, Trevor Sampson and I copy the name and I paste it at the description. This is only for what I will see. This is the name that people will see. So if you say Trevor Sampson Photographer, and you send an email, for instance, to myself again, info at Trevor test. And I send it, it will come in as Trevor Sampson photographer. So that's how it works. It works the same on your phone. Just put over here the same information as over here and you should be fine. So if you have any question, please leave a comment. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please like the video, subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye-bye.